Hello everybody, this is Anthony from Bucket List Diver, and I'm here to talk with you about the new project for Amo Uh So a little bit of a disclaimer there. I've been part of the focus group, as many uh, owners of Scuba Dive Shop and uh, also member of the public. Uh, fishermen had their own focus group, swimming, sea rescue, everybody had a focus group. So it is quite open to discussion with JT and the project is far from being finished. Um, we just opened the public consultation uh, today or on Monday. So you can uh, look at the project and see what you prefer, what features you prefer in each project. And that's why we are there to talk about. Um, so I have this project just here. And if you give me a second, I'm going to share my screen. And just there. All right. You can now see uh, one of the two project of the three uh, concepts that are available. And before I get into that concept, I would like to uh, say a few points that are true for every JTs. Um, main thing on those JTs, they all have an access ramp. Uh, concept three is a bit different. Here there is two on concept three, if I remember correctly, there is only one access ramp, you can see it there. Uh, but they all have an access ramp. It was something that all scuba dive companies have been asking for. I'm quite sure that fish, uh, the fish fishing community wanted access to it. Uh, so uh, it's a good point that we have. Second point that is quite important, uh, the position of the jetty. So uh, the jetty or the new concept of the jetty is going to be around above the new jetty, the old jetty that we know. That means that we are not going to have to create a new sand pad. They are not going to destroy any dunes. Uh, it's going to be easy to access, no new parking. It's uh, quite a good thing. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but at the beginning of the project, they were talking about putting the JT about 100 meters south or north. I don't remember exactly. And that is abandoned. So the JT is where we know it, maybe on the side, maybe above, maybe around. And that's uh, what we are trying to, uh, to find. Um, now, on both concept one and concept three, we have that part of the jetties that is known as a shade. Right? And that has been uh, in a lot of questions in Facebook. What is the material for the shade? So um, it is an arm material. And before I talk about the material, I'm going to tell you why we need the shade. Uh, it's not always logical for scuba divers uh, and people that are not going underwater, but if we have so much life under Amojiti, it's because coral can grow. And coral can grow at nine meters, at five meters, like we have in Amojiti, just because there is no light. The jetty that we have right now is large enough to cover the dive site, to reduce the amount of luminosity that come underwater and allow uh, coal to grow. And when coal grows, we have fish coming around. So it is important that we reduce luminosity to a certain level so uh, that coal can stay under the jetty. Um, so from the discussion we had in the focus group and from another meeting that later, we think that is going to be that kind of material that is going to be used uh, to do the shade. So it's a uh, hard material with uh, small openings and uh, I might be wrong on that, but I think UWA is uh, as a charge to determine how big has to be the aperture, so there is no light coming uh, under the jetty. We need to have small holes in the jetty, uh, mainly because if there is a wave crashing, if the surface is flat, the wave power is going to push the jetty away and be dangerous for the structure. While if there is a lot of holes, quite a lot of the force of the wave is going to be dispatched and can uh, be released. Um, so it's going to be a hard structure. It's also going to let uh, the maintenance team to be able to go on the GT and do any maintenance work, uh, picking up rubbish. And uh, from the last chat we had about that uh, structure, about the shade, also going to be about 40 to 50 centimeters above the surface at high tide. So we are sure that we can ascend and not knock on our head when we are doing the dive. So it's not just going to be straight above the water, it's going to be about 40, 50 centimeters above. So it's quite uh, comfortable for us. 
Um, that's it for the shade. So uh, it is important to keep shade. Like if there is no shade, there is no growth of coal and there is no fish force. Uh, also adding a shade above it, make sure that the pylon are going to be protected and uh, stay stable. Uh, so it's quite important for us as scuba divers. Uh, and that's why we, I wanted to present it. It's not a close, it's not sale, it's really a hard bit that should be lasting quite a long time. So let's go to the GT. So the concept one, oh, quite funny when we were doing the focus group, that's uh, one of the ideas we had in our group. Uh, uh, like it for several reasons. Uh, we have the access ramp and that is common to everywhere. Uh, and you can see it's straight out, coming straight out of the pathway. So we'll be able to walk there, not touching the sand and go straight into the water to start our dive. Uh, the jetty goes all around the old jetty that is protected, but there is no access to get under that shade. So people should not be able to walk there. There might be in the future probably a little um, ladder there to allow maintenance. I don't know how they are going to do that. Uh, another thing to say about the three concept, uh, we are talking about general shape of the jetties and features that we lack, but not all the detail are in the concept yet. For example, those ladders are not going to be there. They could be at the end, that could change. Uh, another few things, there is no live frame, there is no camera, the lighting might be different. So a lot of little details are going to change. Uh, we don't know yet what they are going to add on the water. We might have some uh, horizontal pole to make sure that more life is growing. Um, so on the GT, we'll basically have a very differentiation between scuba diving and fishing because the middle, uh, normally, the fishermen will not be able to cast any line, so it will be quite protected. I will be able to swim under there without any problem. Another advantage is because it's adding two more pylons and a bit more shade on each side, there is a good chance that uh, the uh, dive site is going to increase a little bit. Not by much, but just a little bit. But that's already a good thing for us. Um, Let's understand that the wider the GT is for us, the better it is. A very small GT, a very tight GT, like in concept three, means that there is no life going on there, but something that is wide is good for us. Uh, and right now the GT that we have in AMO is quite wide, that's why we have all the life. Um, the big question on concept A is what going to happen in the middle. Are people going to throw rubbish? Are people are going to try to jump from the GT to the shade? Uh, how is things are going to be controlled? Um, I don't know if that's really the big question. So if you have concern when you're doing the survey, please let them know, uh, write in the question what you like and don't like about that, just so they understand what our concern. And that's something I've been raising with them in the time is, are they going to be able to maintain that particular part of the dive sites? Because all good and beautiful the first five years, uh, but what happened to it in 10 years? Are they going to maintain it? Are they going to make sure that the shade is not destroyed? If the shade gets destroyed, are they going to replace it? Um, so for now, it's still up into the air, just we're still in the consultation place. But it seems like a big question. And if you could ask that question, the survey, that will show how concerned you are about that. Um, what I like as well, as well about the GT is the fact that you can walk all around. So it's going to be a nice boardwalk. It's going to be pleasant, uh, not just for scuba divers, but for everybody that enjoys the GT. Uh, in my opinion, it's a strong one, and I like it. But all the concepts have good things. So let's go to concept two. The concept two is a TJT and is extremely similar to uh, what we have right now. So the JT will be built over the previous JT. Uh, it's not really going to add much space on the water. We are going to have pylons just next to the old pylons. So we're adding one pylon on each side. Uh, but for me, it seems like the safest bet. Uh, because it's protecting the jetty very well. Uh, unfortunately, that means that they are going to construct 
above the jetty that might disturb a bit the marine life. And I sincerely don't know what, uh, what impact it will have on it in the future. Uh, the T at the end of the GT, don't expect it to be an awesome place for diving. As I was saying, only four meters is not going to create much shade. So we are not going to have much life appearing there, uh, but it's always a, a bit of a place to visit and a reference so we don't get lost when we go both sides. Um, I think as a scuba diver, it seemed like it's a safest option. Uh, it's a cool option. Nothing, uh, nothing changed. We still feel comfortable. If you ever feel that you are uncomfortable to swim because there is fishing happening around, that solution is not going to bring uh, bring any novelty. It's not going to solve that problem. Uh, so that's maybe something that uh, is lacking a little bit. Um, but to be fair, not changing the jetty and keeping something very similar is probably a nice option for us. And concept three, concept three is pretty cool as well. It looks like Basalton jetty or very small version of some uh, Basalton jetty. So the big difference is going to be a separation between the dive site and the fishing part of it. So we will have the dive sites protected. It will not start from the start from the beach uh, exactly, and they haven't decided yet how far is it going to start from the jetties. So if you see my uh, cursor there, that part will not be shaded. It will be shown as an example, and further away, uh, we will see uh, we will have the, the beginning of the shade. What is interesting about that is right now, I think UWA is doing to do a survey about the marine life and they are going to tell them where the marine life is really starting. From my experience, and that's just an anecdote, but from my experience, I have the feeling that in the first few meters where it's no more than three meters deep, there is not as much life as there is at five meters a bit further in the jetty. So maybe it's not so much a concern to have uh, a roof or a shade above our head in the shallow, shallow water. Uh, but we'll see uh, what you do, UWA recommendation will be in the future. So in that version of the GT, it seems that we are going to have a fence protecting the diver so nobody can jump onto, uh, onto the shade and go fishing on the side. So it should give us a quite protected site and we feel comfortable. Um, Following, uh, following the GT, the GT is coming there with a bit of an angle, that's our Swiss angle. Uh, it's quite a big extension uh, and it could be exciting. It's supposed to be six meter large um, and that will maybe create enough shade for some coal to grow, but I don't know. I don't know if that will be enough. Uh, um, there is some studies that are done at Bustleton GT to know what is your optimal uh, size of the GT and maybe six meters is a bit too small. So just remember that when you arrive at the end of the actual GT of the GT that we have today, the visibility starts to drop quite a bit. If you start to swim further, uh, the substrate is a bit different and visibility is not as great. So don't expect to have an awesome dive just because we have another 20 or 30 meters of GT, of a longer GT. And your question now is why don't they put that part of the GT nine meters, make a big GT that go further to extend the dive site? And uh, the answer is basically a question of budget at that point. Um, so the three concept have about the same square metrage. Uh, they about almost all have the same dimension where you can walk. So they cannot just extend it infinitely without running out of budget. And that's why we don't have a 20 meters GT uh, large or stuff like that. That would be awesome, but it's not going to happen. Um, yeah, it's a bit all for my take on the GT, like the three concepts look strong. I don't think none of them is bad for scuba diving. Uh, so it's exciting to be the series and it would be exciting to see what is going to happen. Uh, if everything goes perfectly, perfectly, maybe the GT will arrive in 2023, 2024, who knows? So it's 
not that far away. Uh, I will put the survey under, uh, under that video in the comments. Uh, please follow it, have a look at it, and uh, answer, let some comments so they can, uh, they can understand how you use the GT and what you like from every project. Another thing that uh, we got from those focus group is when you are going to answer the surveys, they are not going to ask you, do you prefer concept one, concept two, or concept three? They are going to let you know uh, what do you like in concept three? Like, for example, do you like to have a long JT? And you're going, yeah, I like it, or I'm very against it. Uh, but that doesn't mean that you aren't guest having the two JT separated, for example is it scuba diving and the GT separated. So maybe you are going to say, yeah, I'm strongly uh, in favor of that. On concept two, for example, you are going to say maybe that you are uh, not happy with the height. Oh, that's one difference in concept two, excuse me. Uh, the GT is going to be a bit higher to be able to be above the previous GT. Uh, so that's something that really not a concern for scuba divers, but might be a concern for uh, fishermen. Uh, so maybe fishermen would be against having a GT too high. They will not be comfortable with that. That's one of the questions. So they try to ask you what are the things that you like and don't like at the GTs, at the concept. And maybe they will be doing a melting pot of what you like and what we don't like and put them together and try to do a better, uh, better concept. Um, so please follow the link uh, below and let them know what you like and what you dislike. Thank you very much.